हरे कृष्णा क्वेश्चन कैन वी लव आवर सेल्फ्स इन मेनी सेल्फ हेल्प बुक्स नो इट इज सेड दैट वी शुड लव आवर सेल्फ्स देन वी विल हैव अ पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड एंड देन वी विल बी एबल टू एक्ट इफेक्टिवली इन लाइफ नाउ इन डिवोटी सर्कल वी ऑफन हियर दैट वी शुड बी हम्बल एंड आई वी हियर सॉन्ग्स ऑफ डिवोटी आचार्य वैष्णव आचार्य who are condemning themselves so should we uh, love ourselves or hate ourselves answer we are meant to be god conscious filled with love for krishna our goal ultimately is to our the heart's deepest longing is love and we want to love and be loved and the nature of love is by its very very nature to to not be self conscious to be conscious of one's loved one and that loved one ultimately is krishna so now if we look at the self love and self hatred both of them are actually two sides of the same coin of self consciousness so where we think very positively about ourselves thinking uh, or whether we think very negatively about ourselves either way we are thinking about ourselves primarily and that self consciousness is going to keep us entrapped because uh, we are finite beings and uh, we need love and love requires an object outside of oneself so in that sense self consciousness is itself undesirable and self hatred and self love are two sides of the same coin of self consciousness so now having said that there is further deeper exploration of the subject self the uh, vaishnav humility where devotees may bhakti no thakur may say amara jeevan sada paperat nahi ko punya ralesh that i am constant my life is filled with sin there is not a trace of piety in it that i am a have i am constantly lusty greedy when he, and he says i am so fallen i am so sinful when he says these things we have to understand them uh, that they are from a transcendental perspective we cannot apply them when we are ourselves not having that transcendental perspective now it will be it will just not be realistic on our part so uh, quite often that is and certainly that is not self hatred that is in the light of that when a devotee understands how great krishna is and how much krishna loves me at that time uh, one feels that whatever i may do to reciprocate with krishna's love that is such such a pitiful thing comparatively speaking and that's why i will not let myself be caught in such things i will stay focused in krishna and as compared to krishna's greatness when one smallness becomes evident then that expresses itself as humility so when we don't have access to an understanding of krishna's greatness really a per through experience through realization that will require purification that takes time so we cannot even understand our own smallness Uh, in a tangible way so what we can understand for at our level humility would mean that we don't think of ourselves in the center of the universe but we try to cultivate a service attitude so now that uh, self uh, self condemnation that devotees may sometimes speak that is very different from the self hatred that sometimes people have especially when they are reflected too much by tamoguna so self hatred comes among people when they uh, repeatedly fall short of the expectations that society has set for them so for example a student has tremendous peer pressure parental pressure social pressure to be a topper and a student instead of coming first in the class comes something like 20th or 30th in the class and if that happens repeatedly the student may start thinking i am worthless i am worthless i am worthless i am useless i am good for nothing and that creates uh deep emotional scars within oneself and because one is not been able to live up to the expectations set by others uh, sometimes one may rebel against those expectations and reject the people only who are have offering such conditional love but in other situations 
one becomes imprisoned by their expectations and not being able to live up to those expectations one starts feeling self-loathing and self-hatred and that is a very unhealthy emotion you know we as we grow up we one aspect of growing up is also to recognize who we are not just in terms of that i am soul but also in terms of what is our psychophysical nature materially and to mold our definitions of success and our expectations of ourselves according to that mature understanding of who we are so that self hatred is is from is springs from the mode of ignorance and that is definitely unfavorable to bhakti because because of that self hatred a person is not able to do anything constructively one just is oneself beating oneself down mentally and disempowering oneself disheartening oneself discouraging oneself that is definitely not of no use now self love is the opposite side of the same coin when it is in material consciousness that means one thinks instead of thinking how how useless i am one starts thinking how glorious i am see i have done this i have done that i look so smart i speak so i speak so great and i am this and i am that and there is the paradigm of paradigm not necessarily in a positive sense but in the negative sense there is a paradigm of self love is a greco roman character narcissus so it was said that he considered himself so beautiful that so handsome that he would sit in front of a next to a lake and look into his reflection in the lake and keep gazing at it for hours and hours admiring oneself so that is narcissism and from that the word has come narcissistic narcissistic means a person who is self obsessed and that sort of self love is definitely unhealthy uh that is again very self centered and such people become very insensitive to others become very arrogant become very um self egoistic and egotistic egotistic means talking about oneself constantly and egoistic means always thinking oneself to be far greater than others and both ways it is undesirable so now there is as as when we come to a spiritual understanding even if we are not realized it where we have uh, at least intellectually understood it then we understand that we are parts of krishna and if we hate ourselves then we are hating a part of krishna and that is definitely undesirable just as we should not hate other parts of krishna we should not even hate this part of krishna so self hatred from a spiritual pers- from both a material perspective it is damaging and from even a spiritual perspective also it is unhealthy now what about self love and everything can be dovetailed in krishna's service if we can see it in connection with krishna so if we see ourselves as parts of krishna then uh, self love is actually in the sense a love for krishna of course we should not love only this self we should ultimately love the supreme self and we should love the other selves also but if we understand that we are parts of krishna that the body is in mind that we have they are also ultimately given to us by krishna then we take care of our soul and we take care of our body and mind and that is also an expression of our love for krishna so taking care of our soul means you know, we do activities that will nourish our soul and we don't let ourselves get distracted by other things and taking care of our body and mind also means that we uh, do whatever is required to keep ourselves healthy to keep ourselves nourished physically and mentally so if self love manifests as self care not in terms of uh, what people talk as art items of personal care where they talk primarily about uh, cosmetics not in that sense but in the sense of truly taking care of our needs spiritual psychological and physical then that kind of self care it can also be done in the mood of service to krishna so if we have certain talents then just as it is said that what krishna says know that all opulent beautiful and glorious things spring from but a spark of my splendor yadyad vibhuti mat sattvam shrimad urjitam eva va tattadeva va gachhatvam mam tejo amsh sambhava and krishna says that everything beautiful everything attractive comes from me so then we understand if there are some talents which we have they are also coming from krishna so we don't love those talents as the proofs of our own greatness but we love those talents as gifts from krishna and we take care of those talents so for example if somebody is a singer and that person can sing devotional songs also that person needs to do whatever it takes to take care of one's voice and that is not self love that is love of the gift that krishna has given to us and the gift that we are trying to use 
in his service according to our capacity so so self love in the sense of truly understanding the self and understanding the supreme self and loving the supreme self and loving the self in relationship with the supreme self is an integral part of bhakti and at a material level both self love and self hatred are just the two sides of the same coin of self consciousness and devotee avoids both thank you hare krishna